You want to go one more time? I don't, but let's do it anyways. <laughs> this is kind of fun, trying to find ways of living. I, I have to admit, I do love Primordium. So I'm just getting a little bit comfortable here. It's a warm day, and these are warm, warm runs. Seraph the Patient, I hate, though. I like Primordium, though. He's a, he's a relatively good champion. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it worked well last time. Maybe it'll work well this time. Status effects to the eater. You know what? I've never... You know what? We have two Prismal Dusts, Void Binding. Screw it. I've never done this build before. Maybe we can make it work. Just don't play Primordium first, otherwise you do get, um... No. Don't, pri don't play Primordium first, otherwise... You don't get the ability to transfer status effects. So here th here's how this is gonna work. Train Steward, Primordium, Damage Shield, Primordium. Now the Train Steward gets two Damage Shields every turn. Now is that enough? No. But you could give... Primordium Rage, and then it'll give three Ember Drain every turn to the Train Steward, which means that you can never play any other card because you have Volatile Gauge. <laughs> also would not recommend. Um, let's just kill you and end my turn. Our Train Steward has a lot of health, but like not much else. So, like I guess, I can't kill you. And you're only losing 4 HP. So you're, I mean, you're gonna hit the pyre. I don't know what to do about this, so I'll just hit you. Oh, hey, there's, you know, just a, just a cool, calm, casual uh, 14 damage to the pyre that I had no, no way of preventing. Love it. My first morsel, by the way. You're only hitting the pyre once. I didn't need to kill you. I'm dumb. Take that. Taking 45 damage. So we've all already lost, huh? <laughs> well, that's fine. I mean, this is extra pain train. It is uh, do new runs, random, random, and then hope that you get a good start that can actually survive the first couple of floors. Umbra melting. Okay, I hate the Umbra, but I love the melting. I think he should just go melting. Maybe we should just go heavier into the melting. Yes, your champion gets stronger. This isn't the one that I wanted. Like at all. Like at all at all. Little licorice isn't even that good. Do we want it? No, but we'll take it anyways. Your champion does get more attack. Gain energy, or gain money when a friendly unit dies. Enemy units appear on each floor. Uh, that's actually okay. We'll take a little bit of pyre damage, but hopefully not, but we probably will. But maybe we can get lucky and get some kills, and maybe our champion can get some kills, although they do have, oh, you know what? <laughs> Screw you guys. It's just like, yeah, sure, why don't we just play a whole bunch of train stewards? Now you're living, and there's nothing I can do to keep you alive. I don't like this version of the champion because uh, you gotta get lucky, I think, on the molding of it back. At least we're getting all the kills here, which is a very big surprise. And you can get a little bit stronger. Please come back again. Oh, thank you. I mean, we need her to come back every turn. She's getting the kills. We can keep her alive. Give her some stats. Dump you. We should have played you in the middle, probably. 
guess our champion is doing a lot of damage right now, just because of the fact that we are able to uh, keep her going. You're gonna die anyways, so. You have 27 spikes. <laughs> I mean, I'm honestly surprised that this has gone as well as it is. Do you see this? 153, you're gonna hit the pyre once. Considering what we had to do, I'll take 13 pyre damage. Mold we need. We need it, we need it to be holdover. And I think we just need more damage shield. Damage shield on the champion seems to be working wonders. So you know what? Screw left path, we're going right path. Double stack, not what we're looking for. It's not even that good on Prismal Dust. I didn't even know we had a mortal entrapment in the deck. We didn't shuffle to it. <laughs> we didn't get it fast enough. <laughs> so I will, because we have jack strips, it's actually a, no, we don't have jack strips. That was last run, oops. Um, so maybe like a mold minus one so that we can maybe get a holdover. Oh my God. Are we doing it? Are we making a good run? Is it possible? Is it possible for us to have an okay run? Probably not, but you never know. Damage shield to the first friendly unit summoned each turn is exactly what we want because we can play that on the champion. Uh, probably the Baron with the champion because we want the champion to get all the kills and when she dies, we can just reform her. So I, with damage shield, I actually think aggressive is fine. We skipped the first challenge, but now we got the second one. No, we did the second, the first challenge. We did the second, I don't know. You have spikes 29 though. And you have 50 damage immediately. That's pretty good. Our champion died. And they're not coming back, which is bad. Why? I guess they did attack, which meant that they died because they hit the spikes. Yeah, but hey, champion. If you're dying, you're not gonna gorge. We'll just do it like this. And then um, you might as well go up front. I mean, the boss is gonna have damage shield. Wow, didn't get what I wanted. The boss is going to have stealth, sorry, but when we play our champion, it should work out. I mean, this is this is terrible. At least those guys died. Okay, this is what we want. We, we need this card to be intrinsic now, but that's hard to finagle. Ultimately, that worked out totally fine, though. We took no pyre damage, which is something I didn't think was gonna happen. Draft, uh, I do really like drafts. I like them a lot. I, I actually don't even know if we need a mind collapse. We just need to bring back Little Fate. I mean, she's already 41 spikes with damage shield every turn. The damage shield makes her like playable. We skip? We're not using morsels for anything right now. Do we just take like a crucible collector just so we can have a gorge floor? Something to do with the morsels while we are um, killing units with little fate? Or maybe we just ignore the crucible collector entirely. We say, hey, this is not a crucible collector run or floor. We're doing other things. I don't like these units. This is one of those runs where the only thing I want is Little Fade. If that's even good enough. Well, we can't do it now, <laughs> but we could have. Although a uh, Prismal Dust Intrinsic, I kind of like because we can keep Little Fade alive while she gets the kills. Let's do a... 
and sealed caverns. Build a card. Spike sap regen. Can we make this card hold over? I mean, what's the final effect? It's either... What's well, either push, pull, descend, ascend, or gain gold or gain capacity. I would like to gain capacity. I'd like to gain gold as well, but if units die, we gain gold already, so I don't think we need to worry about that. It's probably plus capacity. So would we prefer this to be a friendly spell or a, or a, a enemy spell? Sap plus damage or regen? I think because Little Fade comes back, I don't want sap, I want Maybe something to use to buff the Baron in the back? Try to regen. Heal. This is kind of what I wanted. And then, gold is nice, but we have a Memorial Fund. I'm gonna go Capacity. And then we can play that on the Baron to maybe help keep him alive a little bit. What are we gonna duplicate? Uh, we're actually gonna duplicate the Mold. What are we going to make intrinsic? I think we're actually going to make Prismal Dust intrinsic because getting more damage shield on the champion keeps her alive for a little bit longer to do more damage. If we want to keep her alive as long as possible until we draw mold, and this is one way that we can do that. Now, I, I do think we're going to play on the bottom. We can give her a lot of damage shield, but this guy is still gonna explode, so maybe we don't play her on the bottom. Maybe we play her up here because we want to get away from the constructive, constructed explosive. We could even play on the top floor, but we want to play everyone together thanks to the Baron. So yeah, we'll we'll play um we'll play here. Can we? Yeah. You you gain three on death. You'll have one two. Three, four, five damage shield. Damage shield, damage shield, damage shield, damage shield, damage shield, die. Prefer it if you didn't die. Little fade. But if you die, how likely are we to draw a mold next turn? Eh. Actually, if we give you minus two, if we give you four damage shield and put a train steward in front, we'll get one more harvest trigger out of the Baron. Okay, let's do that. That's three kills. Two more damage shield means that we're getting all the kills and Baron is getting pretty tanky. We also gained a lot of gold. We also got our mold, which is exactly what we're looking for. So you can heal. You don't really need it, but you're going to take it anyways. Little Fade can now come back literally every turn with the damage shield. This seems pretty good. And then ideally, you know, our units just die and burn out every every floor and then we get a big tank. And then at the end, we just uh, mold back Little Fade and have her in the back, spiking it up, doing as much damage as possible. I mean, with 55 spikes, she's killing every unit that hits her. It's pretty good. I mean, I've got to say, I'm pretty happy about this. And then for train stewards, because we have targeted mold, I think we just play him to dump him out of the deck. And Little Fate, unfortunately, is... Uh, wow, she's killing everything. <laughs> because she has so much, so much health now because of the reform. Live, live die, she's getting three kills. Still pretty good. And now that we killed some train stewards, we have other train stewards to bring back, so we can actually do some damage here. Yeah, yeah, I, I like this. I like this deck. I didn't think that we could get a little fade this strong, and yet here we are. She's doing 126 damage as well. And this is permanent scaling. And we're getting a lot of permanent scaling.
So she's gonna get another kill, which is why I wanted to keep her alive for a turn. Actually, everything's dying. It's perfect. She might even be getting some kills, which is great. In fact, I'm like, Ice you might keep her alive long enough to get another kill. Oh, she's not getting the kill, because she's dying. That's fine. You wanna know why? Damage shield. So she got another kill, and she got another kill. So that's, man, she's insanely powerful right now. 73, 77. 73 spike, 77 damage. Consume, gain 2x energy, consume, apply trample, consume, trigger units, extinguish ability without killing it. I don't think trample is what we're looking for because Little Fate is gonna die. She kind of has sweep with the spikes right now, which is weird. Um, but I don't think any of these cards actually matter. E energy is not really what we're looking for. We don't have a payout for that, except for Prismal Dust. So you know what? I will take Kindle. And I gotta say, Big Sludge is exactly the kind of unit that we're looking for to go along with our, our Baron. Baron Big Sludge, great name, also great unit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, two energy, two energy, two energy. Capacity, capacity gonna be three capacity plus you, plus we can play a morsel, which will also die. We don't need capacity. We don't need energy. We need draw to get to the molds, because that's the only card that matters in this deck right now. This is a weird deck, but I actually really like it. I think we'll go left as well. We want to remove cards, like train stewards. I don't really want an Umbra unit. I just want Little Fade because she's kicking the ass out of enemies. And we've already upgraded the spells that we want. We got very lucky getting the holdover when we got it, so. Did we even get to the draft on the, <laughs> on the last mission? I don't or last area? I don't think we did. And actually, you know what? I, I completely forgot about something. You don't need Little Fade to get stronger on kills. You could just make her endless and quick so she gets another kill for free. Let's see. Little Fade. We should actually look here. You know, we can give her, she, she gain plus two, plus two, plus three, plus three, plus four, plus four. We can give her quick endless, and then whenever she dies, she just comes back anyways. That way we don't have to worry about molding her back, which I think is actually very good. If we don't have to worry about molding her back, she's getting more kills, right? Free unit with your champion? Yeah, I'll take free unit with your champion. Magic power piercing is not really what we're looking for. I do want a sack though, and I really, really, really want big sludge inside of the Harvest Baron. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna scale out of out of freaking control. Um, and can we get quick? We can. I really like this. Yeah, this is 50% better scaling, and then after the seventh floor, 100% better scaling. But wouldn't we just want you to come back anyways to be quick, to get a kill in addition to the kills that you're already getting because you're getting hit? I think Eternal Flame perfectly fits with what we have going on here. And I think that Big Sludge in the Baron perfectly fits with what we got going on here. Rip 300 spike dream. We might still get to 300 spikes though. Like, I don't know why 300 is a, a, a point of interest nor, but like we can totally get high spikes with her dying every turn. Fine, rip 500 spikes dream. <laughs> there you go. Um, I think she's dying, which is act actually perfect. We got another Wickless Baron, pardon? <laughs> I mean, I kinda like it. And then we want her dying. We don't need Endless. We don't need to make her damage shield. We actually make you damage shield. So that's three kills on Little Fade.
It's another three kills on Little Fade. And I gotta be honest, I, I don't think I even want to play a mole. Like, she's coming back permanently, the Wickless Barons will never get hit. So what are we molding back? We're not molding back anything. I'll play one, because if I get a, a Morsel, maybe I can k get the Morsel killed every turn. So there's something there. But like... Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe I just... Dude, screw it. I don't want Morsels. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I'm just playing my units, which I guess is what you want to have happen. We have an insanely good run. Have we done it? Have we broken extra pain train? We may have actually broken extra pain train finally. You know what? Let's get a freaking morsel. We have a 205 health or damage Wickless Baron. They have 90 rage. Perfect time for that as well. Uh, we can't play this on anyone, unfortunately, but we can dump these. We're already at a hundred spikes. Ranistan says it only took like three and a half hours. I mean, it's weird, but you do kind of have to get lucky, it feels. But we are getting lucky, which is nice. So that's more spikes, and then... 100 spikes, you're doing 300 and... No, 100, uh, 289 damage. We're not going to be able to kill you with Little Fade, but you're still going to die. We killed you with Little Fade! How did that happen? <laughs> okay. Got a lot of gold, by the way. We, um... What do we want? Probably a Votaberry. More death means more harvest triggers and more memorial fund. We don't care about draw anymore. Before we got endless on Little Fade, we wanted the molds to bring back Little Fade. We don't care about that anymore. Spikes for the spike god. We are very spiky. Bravel, gem trove. We don't really need the morsels, but I'm like... I do like the damage shield. Can we make this playable? Probably not. I'll take a Grovel. Damage shield one means maybe we can get another kill with Little Fade. I'm, I'm building everything right now around Little Fade. We need her to, to be alive forever and to be the only unit in our deck that can do damage. Well, we don't need... Ideally, no, but that's what's going to happen, probably. So get rid of the train stewards. Cards come upgraded or remove buffs. Remove buffs could hit stealth. Oh, that's why we got the kill, because they, that boss was still stealthed, w weren't they? Wasn't they? <laughs> Let's make the draft better. They suck, but they don't need to be any better than what they are. I think quick on the Baron is not what we want, because we actually want Little Fade to get hit first, so this is a bit of a wash. Re I, I guess really we're just looking for multi-strike. We didn't get it. I could give Votaberry damage shield, but we, again, we want Votaberry to die. We want Votaberry to die, we want our um, Little Fade to die, so I think we'll just leave. We're not really doing much with our gold, but maybe we'll save it and buy a relic? Because we, we, I mean, we're fine. Yeah, do more damage, I don't care. You can't kill me. You did lose your spikes, though. Oh, and that's another benefit to having this. I didn't even didn't even think about that. Good spike negation. By the way, you're all dead. Sweep icy silophyte. You know what? Why not? And I will play Prismal Dust. You know, keep her alive so we don't draw her, and then we can draw something else. Yeah, this is actually totally fine. We'll lose energy next turn, but at least we get the kill there. Um, do that, and then... I'll play you. We need more uh, capacity. 
But that's only because we played Icy Silo Fight. We didn't have to, but we did. We chose to. Okay, 115 spikes. <laughs> sure, bring back another draft. I guess we'll have the draft eat. The stats do get maintained. Everything on this floor is dying. We're finally losing Little Fade. Little Fade is... Attack, attack. Little Fade is not killing the Clip Shaman, but they are dying to the Clip Shaman. Possible we can draw Kindle. Kindle should be a, a frozen card. That would be perfect. Um, you got so much damage shield. If they're support units, you'll kill them. I, I didn't even look at what the boss was. I'm not playing around that at all, and I probably should be. I know. Get buffed, I guess. Ah, you're a sweeper. It didn't matter where I placed my units. However... A heal and some damage shield, or just some damage shield? <laughs> that almost did it, huh? Well, in that case, you know what that means. Free kill for Little Fade. Bung, bung, bung. Brooks says, I think I've hit my limit so tired. Have a good night. Have a good night. And uh, I actually really like this as well, because we can endless the Baron, and he still comes out with really good stats and health to tank if we need him to. So I think we'll take Remnant Pack. I think that totally fits. And then for this, we don't really need it at all. Even Void Binding, I don't really want Little Fade to uh, give us the Ember Drain. Damage Shield 2, uh, we get Damage Shield just by playing, you know, Prismal Dusts. Uh, I do look at Ember Cash and I say we can gold the card maybe on this run, but it is extra pain trained. Do we really want to spend one card draw trying to guild an Ember Cash, which is almost guaranteed to be useless? No, I think we skip. Cannibalize could have been interesting too to get more uh, more death cycles, but I don't think it's necessary. We will totally go to the left by relics. Upgrade a unit with plus 10. R restore pyre health and apply plus 5x damage to your pyre. Tell you what, we might want to heal. Let's take it. We don't have to play it. Oh, I like that. Magic power and purge. Engage packs. We could put the draft in the votivary to get a votivary dying every turn. It's actually not a bad idea. Guild marker is fine. Reducing merchant cost 25%. That means reroll was will be a uh, 45. Resin block would be um, about 150. Where friendly unit dies, apply plus 10 attack. But the problem is, little fade never like she already has enough damage. Do we care about giving her plus 10 more? You just get an extra upgrade slot is also fantastic. So we want to hit up a unit upgrade, probably here, and try to buff up our our dude. I don't really want to spend any more here. I'm trying to think. Maybe, maybe we have to to hit uh, 100 pack shards. Because we can get 10 and then 15, so it's 25. We need 10 more, and if we go here to upgrade our Baron, we're not duplicating a card. So we would have to go here, Hellvent, in order to Hellvent something. 
and go to the concealed caverns. What would we hell vent to duplicate? The only thing that we've upgraded is prismal dust. And I think it only duplicates for five, not ten. So we'd have to duplicate the Baron as is, but that doesn't seem that appropriate because it's just a crappy Baron. So what the heck would you do? I suppose what we have to do then is take one of these two upgrades. Magic power doesn't matter, so I will purge a Shade Splitter because we don't care about them. So now with the 25 pack shards, we should have enough to hit exactly 100. Let me look at again, 15, 10, gets us 25, should be fine. All right, Arcus, even if you daze me, I should really look, but even if you daze me, I can still play Little Fade and have Little Fade kill you. It is daze. So probably daze and death, I had to guess. No, daze and spells. Lucky Kindle. Strike apply melee weakness to the attacked unit. Dare I say, you go in the back. You should be protected. You're a you're a good unit. Because when we hit Relentless, you're gonna be applying the uh, melee weakness. So I want Endless on you. Uh, Shade Splitter can be purged. And then, I don't know, just play ya. Uh, and then let's give you some more damage shield. We have 130 spikes. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, I need I need this morsel to die. I'm realizing. <laughs> Guys, I have no cards to play. The enemies are just dying too fast. <laughs> Tell you what. Play the draft. He's gonna be dazed for a turn, but he'll die, he'll burn out eventually. Little Fade is about to die. I actually kinda want her to die and then come back out with some more damage shield, but I could just give her four more damage shield, I guess. The North says, why didn't you do this on the first one with Fade Umbra? Oh, pardon me, I uh, wish I could have known about, uh, you know, wish I could have uh, picked up these cards. Sorry, was that my bad? You're dead, I haven't, I, I played my units and then didn't do anything. This is, this is why I love a little Fade. <laughs> She's saving me from myself. Yes, give her trample, absolutely. Devourer of Death is tempting as well, but we're, we can't meld it, and I don't want to play this guy just to play him. So give me Trample. Spells on Little Fade seem perfect. I, and I actually think we either want energy for more damage shield or capacity just to play another unit to die and buff ourselves on the bottom floor. You know, play Morsels or something. It gives us something to do. We just don't need the draw at this point. What are we doing with it? Nothing. So I'm, I'm going to go Capacity so I can play it. Uh, the, you know, endless unit that comes back to life every turn. When played, your champion gains 100% health. They have one, so I don't think we want this. Damage shield four? Look, I'd rather take that than gain 25 gold. Um, We're gonna dupe a unit? I kinda wanna remove cards and hit, hit up the caverns. I mean, we just don't need anything else at this point, so. You know what I like about this is that when we actually get to Divinity, Divinity is going to attack into my champion, which is great. Aww. So if she's dying more often, let's give her the stat bonuses as opposed to giving her more spikes. Because at this point, how many... This might be 20, 30 kills. 
I'd rather you just have way better stats total. Upgrade a unit with purge, upgrade a spell with purge. Well, we don't really have units purge anymore. Oh, I don't have any spells to purge either, huh? I don't have any units to purge either. I guess we could we could play the draft and then uh, what, does endless per I don't know, okay? I'm just gonna call it. I don't know. I don't know what you do here. Do you do you play Votivary? Do you play the draft? You purge the Votivary out of your deck? We can't really purge any cards out of our deck at this point. So sure, Votivary, if you stay in my deck thanks to Endless, good. Let's see what happens. This will be a learning lesson. We have to take this. I almost forgot about it. What do we double? What do we double? Yeah, it only dupes for five. I don't know, double Votivary? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe just double up on like a Prismal Dust, but not the intrinsic one. Dupe Bone Dust, have one for healing and one for gilding. The thing is, we just don't need it because we're at full health. No nothing makes it past the floor with our champion because our champion is so damn good. I don't want two of these in innate, is the thing. So I'll just dupe like another Prismal Dust, I guess. Armor 20. I laugh. On the extra pain train, I can laugh. So I think you're dead. You're not dead, but only barely. And we do have a Titan Sentry, which is a pretty good unit. We are going to be Ember Drain, so let's get the damage shield out now. I mean, that's nine damage shield. That's pretty good. I don't know why we didn't get Ember Drained. Is that not the Ember Drain guy? I think it was. Can I not kill you? No, nope. I guess I can't kill you. <laughs> so I will make you endless, and I will play a morsel to get eaten. Goodbye. I mean, we're getting 400 gold for this, but I, you know, wish we could have gotten more. Kindle, gain eight energy. While I could get a lot of healing, that doesn't seem appropriate. So why don't we just do this, and then we'll do... You're down six, you're down six. I'd rather you live longer. You have damage shield. You won't... You're living! Oh my god! I, I didn't think this was something that could actually happen. I didn't think you could live. I thought you were guaranteed to die. What happened? You know what? I will play a mold so I can get that morsel back. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Wow, we have no energy. Um, well, you know what? That would kill you. I don't know what you would... How you would work, though. Um... Well, you know what? That'll also kill you, which is kind of funny. <laughs> and then Votivary... I, I don't even know if Votivary can die, but if Votivary can die, we want it to happen on this floor. 167 spikes, pretty good. Just a 36-11 morsel. Champion still has uh, five damage shield. Oh, nothing died, okay. And you're dead, all right. Good run, good run. Our champion is dying, but... Oh, she got the kill! <laughs> With her final dying breath, she got the kill. That's so good. No, 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 no. Kind of like a cave-in. Just put everything on the same floor. If something makes it past our Little Fade, we can bring them back. The problem with that, though, is that Little Fade... Like, we want to make sure Little Fade is constantly playable. We might overcapacity a floor, and if something makes it up, the then we're getting too many units on the floor anyways. The Little Fade probably can't keep up. So, I actually think we skip. I don't really know what I'm looking for to add to the deck. 
I guess the only thing I'm looking for is just upgrades on our uh, our Harvest Baron, so. We've removed all of our Shade Splitters. Apply Endless to the first friendly unit played each turn. <sighs> How does that work with a Morsel? Can you get it back? Also, did you die? Hey, uh, that unit purged. Maybe if she died, she would have been unpurged, but she did purge. I don't, we don't need Volatile Gauge. That's too much. We don't need that much draw. We don't need the cards. We don't need anything. So I, I think Endless, and then maybe we can get units dying a little bit more frequently and playing them over and over again. But we do like it when units die and we can mold them back. Really, it's just the draft and whatever we get for free. So maybe that's not necessary either. Um, we don't play Morsels. And with Molded, I mean, we don't want to make it expensive. It doesn't give us energy. Yeah, this... I think you skip? I think you skip the Relic and you just take the gold. Add Morsels to your hand. Okay, and now I wish I had done it differently because now we could actually get the Morsels and get Shadow Box to work. Okay, we want multi-strike. A little bit of health would be nice. We don't need endless. So let's give you more HP, and then let's also give the giraffe a little bit of damage shield. First time each turn, an enemy unit dies, add two morsel units to your hand. I'm gonna do that so that we have fuel for um, harvest. We don't gorge. We don't need faulty loader, we do enough damage. Uh, we don't need cards to be free either. So this is a bit, I think we just remove cards. Yeah. I mean, those consume, so I'd rather get, ri get rid of the mold. Because once we get to the uh, the targeted mold, we can just play that. And primitive mold is not as good of a card. Sure. Under pack shards, beautiful. Now, consume Seraph is not really that big of a problem, is it? Oh no, you're gonna add more blight cards to my deck. Oh, what am I gonna do? It's not like I already have eight thousand blight cards in my deck. Sweep slay plus three. Not a good unit, but. You know, it's fuel for the slaughter, basically. I guess also getting good morsels would be nice. It says morsel unit, so any morsels in theory. Uh, I will take one damage. Oh, we gotta kill you guys. Oh, uh, okay. Then I will play this. You... You don't need damage. You could use health. And you could use... Damage. You can take the damage. We should not have played you with the Ember Drain, but it doesn't matter. Alright, what do we got? You're dying, you're dying, you're getting plus 14, and that's totally fine. Good Kindle. We're gonna make you endless. We're gonna give you one damage shield, gets us another kill. Keeps you alive, which is not really what I wanted, but it doesn't matter. And we'll play a Vengeful Shard. I guess we could have played another damage shield to maybe get another kill, but we're already getting so many kills. Play. You, and then you will gorge. So you will gain a little bit of stats for when you come back around. Our Baron is doing 150 damage, I think. <laughs> Times two, it's pretty good. Champion's dying, you'd love to see it. Do you need healing? Well, no, but well, let's consume this one, I guess.
You know what? There you go. We should have still played it for the, the capacity gain. I don't know what I was thinking. We had the energy for it. That was a mistake. 410 damage, huh? Well, if I play Trample, it doesn't... It doesn't maintain itself when you die, but I could be wrong about that, so why don't we give it a shot? And then honestly, I, I really like you just being... Oh, damage shield! It didn't apply to the Morsel! Yo, I thought you could apply it to the Morsel, but I guess they changed it so that it applies to your unit and not the Morsel, because it's probably not what you want to hit the damage shield anyways. Interesting. Anyways, uh, what's died a Morsel for health? I'd rather give you a damage shield. Anyways, that's cool. You're dying, understandable. So this should not give me a damage shield. You're taking 600 damage! What? You did get a damage shield. How come you didn't get a damage shield then, but you got the damage shield? Do you understand what, why I'm, I'm confused? Because when I played a morsel than the draft up here, there was no damage shield on the morsel, but when I played the morsel here on this turn, I got the damage shield. Why, why is that different? Why is that inconsistent? What's the rule? Am I missing something? I mean, it's probably just a mistake or a bug, but it does feel a little weird. Man, you're pretty good. So I actually think we play Little Fate in the back now because we're one turn away from Relentless. Yeah, so we're gonna play Little Fate in the back with the damage shield. Do you have spikes? You do. Actually, if you have spikes, well, let's see if it works. It did work, <laughs> but why? <laughs> I don't know, it just seems weird. Anyways, I think we're fine. You're dead. And I think Little Fade's getting the kill. I mean, she has minus three HP on her. She's only attacking three times. I mean, we are doing 600 damage with the Baron now. That's pretty good. We might as well let Little Fade get the kill if she's getting the kill, yeah. I mean, she's currently 211 damage, plus 50%, 207 spikes. Goodness, she can almost kill the mini bosses on her own. Man, I like this deck. Now, the damage shield here is gonna suck, but there's nothing really we can do about that. Quick is interesting. Probably not that good, but... Hey, we are killing everything on the bottom floor, which is interesting. It only costs us our little fade, but guess what? She comes back. And also, if we want... You're taking 300. We can always use Mortal Entrapment on Divinity when we get closer to the end. Nothing that we want to do right now, but it's something for the future. That didn't increase the damage at all, but that's okay. Let's give you damage shield. I guess we'll just do this. Yeah, sure, give me more score. <laughs> thought about it for a second, and I was really hoping I could get multiple conscription notices, but that's not how it works. All right, I would like to play the draft. I 
I'm dumb. The draft has damage shield built into the card. That's why it was working that way. Okay. I figured it, ladies and gentlemen, he's figured it out. <laughs> it took me a minute, it took me a minute. Yes, I would like this every turn. I guess we could just bring back a, you know, a decent Animus. Keep her going. Man, everything just dies when it touches me. <laughs> You're all dying too, you gotta love it. Um, do we need more capacity? I actually think that's pretty good because then we can get the, uh, the sweet, weird, quick, Burnout Animus that we're scaling now. I'll give you Endless. We'll play the Oldie Magic. We'll play the Animus. It was really tiny, which I, I completely forgot about. And then sure, give me a Morcel, which doesn't even get played. But I like the gold. As soon as we get Trample, yeah, I was gonna say, as soon as we get Trample, this guy's gonna start doing a lot more damage. Her little fade does 530. I didn't look to see if she kept Trample on the last fight. Damn it. I really wanted to know if that's how that mechanic worked, because I, I don't know. Just to be honest, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, have one damage shield. You're living now, which is actually kind of bad, because then it means you're gonna die early on the next turn, but everything else is still pretty much toast. And I forgot, hey, you have a bunch of damage shields. You're living, but that's because you're stealth. Boss is taking 700 damage. Can't really complain about that at all. Aye! The Nora says I, she didn't. I'm 98.36% sure. I'll take your word for it. Hey, now you're taking a thousand. It's amazing how one card can do so much. You're not dead. It's amazing how one champion can do so much. I mean, you're taking 700, this will kill you. We win, extra pain train. Hey, apparently all you need to do for the pain train challenge is just have uh, the world's best little fade with 257 spikes. <laughs> and 261 base damage. So, she started with one. She picked up 256 spikes, which means she picked up 128 kills, I believe. If my, ma if my math is correct, I think it is. Cause she started with spikes one and like five damage or something. Maybe three. Oh, it's been done. Extra pain train complete. Bone shine has been stamped. <laughs> oh god. Oh. If you needed any more proof that Little Fade was not a completely broken champion, uh, Little Fade and then a Baron behind her. And in fact, we probably didn't even need the Baron. Little Fade probably would have been good enough on her own. But I will say, we got very lucky to get the early damage shield on our champion. And we were completely correct in making her endless because it it prevented any draw issue from interrupting our combo, especially on the Seraphite who could have consumed all of our cards. Great run. I'm so happy to be done with this challenge. I didn't expect it to take like four hours, but you know what? It was all in the... Uh, it was the journey, not the destination. That's I'll tell you that much. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel. Any of the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of 
Mm, monster train. <laughs>